17th question non repeating and non terminating decimals are called irrational numbers irrational numbers Eighteenth one, root two equals to dash up to the three decimal places. Uh, I think for you this is a, a new method. So once I observe everybody carefully. So here I am taking two. So, you want to take as like here they asked the square root means uh, what number we are taking here the divisor in a quotient also we want to take the same one. Okay, remember that two is the for the two less one is a one. So one one's a one. See here subtraction here plus this one will come here here one. So one plus one here the two two minus one is a one. See divisor is more and the divide end is a less. So then I can keep the decimal place. If I keep the decimal place, then I can place here the two zeros. Okay, got an idea. If I keep the decimal place, then I can keep the two zeros. Now, with a two, two, two beside a. Suppose if I take here the ones a, means we want to keep the one only. So twenty one ones a twenty one, but it will be suitable here twenty four fours a. Four fours a sixteen. Upside one four two is eight plus one nine. See, once again this four will come here. Plus, okay. So here minus. This is a eight. Here the two. Now, see zero minus six is not possible. I have to borrow from the beside number. Here also zero. So I am taking from here. So it is a ten nine. Here nothing. One will be cancelled. Okay. Can I put here the one question? Why we are writing as like here the ten nine as like? Okay. Ten minus four, ten minus six is a four. Nine minus nine is a zero. That's it. See twenty-eight four. See I can keep here the two more zeros because the decimal afterwards. So now I am taking with a one. So here also one. So two eighty one ones a two eighty one. So here minus here plus plus what here. One will come here once again. So two, eight, two. Here ten, nine, three. So ten minus one is nine. Nine minus eight is one. Three minus two is a one. Now once again the two zeros because one hundred and nineteen is less than two hundred and eighty-two. So two zeros. Now it's eleven thousand. So now four zero. Okay. So two eight two four four zero. Four four is a sixteen upside one. Four two is a eight plus one nine four eight is a thirty two upside three. Four two is a eight plus three eleven. It is less than that. So I can take. So I am writing here the four. So one one two nine six. So two subtraction. So ten nine eight. So ten minus four zero six. That's all. So we need up to the three digits. So root two equals to one point four one four is the answer. Nineteenth question: Root three equals to dash up to the three places of decimal. So the same method what we approach in eighteenth uh, question. So I am going to take. Uh, Once again, the three. So one table, one ones a one. So here minus here this will come plus one plus one two. Three minus one is a two. See here the case is now. If I take here the any one number, suppose if I take here the zero, it will become a twenty. So it's a not possible to take. So that's why I'm keeping here the decimal two zeros. So two hundred. So 
where we'll get so 25 27 once i'll check 7 7s are 49 upside 4 7 4s are 14 plus 2 189 okay suitable so 7s are 189 here minus here plus plus what will come here a 7 so 7 plus 7 14 upside 1 2 plus 1 3 Now here the 10, 9, 1. So 1, 1, 1 minus 1, so 11. So here if I take 1, then it is a, here the 11, here the 340 something. So not possible. So then I can keep the two zeros. So 1100. So in 300, suppose 300, and I'll check with the 3s. 3, 4, 3. Oh, then if I take 4 then it will be XC so then I am taking here uh, 3 so 3 is uh, I want to add here the 3 and uh, 1029 here subtraction here addition so I wrote here this uh, 3 now so 0 minus 9 is not possible I am borrowing from here so this, this is also not there so from here so 10 9 here the 0. So 10 minus 9 is 1. 9 minus 2 is a 7. Here the 0 minus 0. 1 minus 1 is a 0. 71. Here the 2 zeros once again. 3 plus 3, 9, 4, 3. If I take here the what? Suppose if I keep here the 1, 3491. So I'm here the 7000 is there. So I am taking with the 2. So 2 is a so here we want to add 2 with the 2s, 2 2s, 4, 2 8s, 2 9s, 18, upside 1. So 2 4s, 8 plus 1 is a 9. So 2 3s, 6. Here plus. So now here 10, 9, here the 0. So 10 minus 4 is a 6, 9 minus 8 is a 1. So here not possible, then I am taking 10. So here is a 6. 10 minus 9 is a 1. We need up to the 3 digits. So answer is root 3 equals to 1.732. 1.732. Answer we can write here. 1.732. It will continue. So up to three decimal places they ask. So that's why I'm stopping here. But it is, uh, see here the remainder is there. So it will be continued. So next 28th question. It's uh, they given the multiple choice questions. So it is easy only. So I'm going for, so 21, 22, 23 and 24, 25, 26 also easy only. So 27 HCF is also easy only. So I'm going for the 28th question. 28th question is a uh, so root 225 plus uh, cubic root of uh, 1 by 64. 28th question. Okay. See here I'm dividing this one into the two parts. So one is a uh, root. Uh, 225 this is a square root here this is a cubic root okay first square root see already i given uh, in a previous uh, one 225 we can write in the form of the 15 15 uh, plus cubic root cubic root means every three times so denominator is uh, numerator is a one so one only so 64 64 i can write in the form of uh, 4 into 4 into 4 into 4, into 4. 4 4 is a 16, 16 4 is a 64. Here the square root, this is a square root. So each two times we will take one time out. Here each three times we will take one time. So here this is a three times is there. One I can write in the form of one into one into one. If I write a, how many times a, if I multiply one also, the answer is a one itself. So three times I taken. So now for each one time, you want to take one time, three times, you want to take one time out. So here the three times uh, is there. 
So answer is, I am taking one time out. Now answer is 15 1 by 4. The LCM of the two numbers is 30 and the product of two numbers is uh, 150. Find the HCF. So before going for this, the relation between the HCF and LCM, if you know, then we can write this one in a very easy way. So I am going to write that one. So relation between the LCM and the HCF. See, LCM into HCF equals to number 1 into number 2 number 1 into number 2 means this is product of the two numbers is equals to LCM into HCF here what we needed LCM the given LCM of the two numbers is 30 the given so this is the given HCF so and the product of the two numbers is 150 product of the two numbers means N1 and N2 is 150 and uh, HCF I don't know HCF I don't know so simple so it's an equation so we can write very easily hcf equals to 150 by 30 so 0 0 cancel 3 1 are 3 5 are. so answer is 5 that's how if m equals to minus 1 to the power 2000 and n equals to minus 1 to the power 2002 then find the value of m by n so, before going for the problem, once we will uh, uh, recall our uh, previous uh, principle what I given in a uh, previous video. So, here see minus 1 to the power even number and minus 1 to the power odd number. So, even number answer is always uh, positive, odd number always always uh, negative. Already I explained this one in a previous video, see 1 into minus 1. See minus into minus plus 1 1 is a 1. Minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1. See odd number of times. 3 times. So minus into minus plus plus into minus minus 1. So this one I wrote up to the 10 or uh, 10 multiplies. Okay. So in a previous video. So this one I can use here directly. I need m and n. So here m value m equals to minus 1 to the power 2000 so 2000 is even so answer is what 1 n minus 1 to the power 2002 so it is also even so answer is 1 so m by n i needed m by n m value is 1 1 so answer is a 1 that's all means a uh, when we are practicing for the iet just uh, you should remember the logic but if you write the 2000 times uh, it's very hard suppose if they given any number in middle then uh, it's a uh, create a lot of problem to solve but if you remember as like the principles it's very easy for you 30 second one find the product of uh, 3 1 by 7 1 5 by 6 1 2 by 5 1 1 by 11. So the, here they are given all the mixed fractions. First we want to convert into the improper fraction. Then uh, we can uh, cancelize. So I am writing thing here directly. So 7 3 is uh, 21 plus 1, 22 by 7. 6 1 is uh, 6 plus 5 is a uh, 11 by 6. 5 1 is uh, 5 plus 2 is a uh, 7. So 11 1 is uh, 11 plus 1 is a 12 by 11. So, here which are able to possible to cut that we can cut it. So, denominator 11. So, numerator 11. So, here the 6 is there. 6 1 is a 6 2 is a 7 1 is a 7 1 is a. So, remains is 22 and 2. And the downside see all 1 here it is a so answer is 44 by 5 we can write this one into the mixed fraction so 5 8 is 44 by means see 5 8 is 40 plus 4 44 by 5 
33 question so convert the following terminating decimal as a fractions so here they given into the uh, decimal form we want to convert that one into a fractional number so 2.3675 they given here so i am writing as my 23675 see instead of the decimal place one decimal afterwards how many digits are there that many zeros so here the 1 2 3 4 4 digits are there so i kept here the four zeros so here the five is a zero so surely uh, this fraction will go with a five so i am applying with five so five two is a ten zero 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 cut so here the twenty three so five four is a twenty three remains thirty six five seven is a thirty five one remains so one seven seventy Five three is a fifteen, so two remains twenty five. Five five is a twenty five. Here the next uh, once again uh, we can here the five is a. Uh, so once again I am using the five table. So five four is a twenty, and here the zero zero. So here the forty seven. Five nine is a forty five. Two remains twenty three. Five four is a twenty, so three remains five seven. Sir. So here the nine forty seven by four hundred. Here there is a zero point seven five seven five. So I am writing directly as like so seven five seven five. Instead of the point one, so four digits are there. So four zeros. So surely it will go with the five table. So five two is a. So five one is a five two remains five five is a twenty five. So five one is a five two remains five five is a. So once again, uh, five table five four is a twenty. So next five three is a fifteen. So one one alone won't go. So then I am taking the two digits. When I am taking the two digits, we have to keep the zero there. So five three is a. So answer is three hundred and three by thirty fourth question. Simplify twenty two point three zero eight divided by seven point four three six. So now first we can write this one in the form of the fraction. See, two two three zero eight means I remove the decimal point. So instead of the decimal point, I can keep the one. Three digits are there, so I can keep the three zeros divided by. So next one is here seven thousand four hundred and thirty six. So means I remove the decimal place. So then instead of the decimal one, three zeros. Now, so the next step uh, we can write a two two three zero eight by thousand. See here, I want to instead of the division, I want to write multiply. Means then uh, I want to to reciprocal of this. Means thousand will go upside, and seven thousand four hundred and thirty six will come downside. Now. See thousand ones are thousand ones are. See here the seven thousand and here the twenty two thousand the three hundred and eight. So in six table where I will get eight. So first I am going to check that in a six table six three is a eighteen means a eight will come in a unit digit. Six a uh, eight is a uh, forty eight in the two cases. So first I will go for the first case. See seven four three six into three. Three six is eight eighteen upside one three three is nine plus one ten upside one twelve plus one is thirteen upside one so twenty one plus one is twenty two see I got here so I am using this table one is three is so finally answer is three got the technique so. I use the first digits means unit digits are uh, what it is coming according to that I take in the number thirty fifth question add the following rational numbers here they given three by ten zero point four by hundred minus twenty one by thousand seven by ten thousand so if we apply the logic. Then uh, we can do addition or the subtraction, whatever also in an easy way. If the denominators are the equal, then I can do in a very easy manner. 
for that case what i want to do first i want to make it the denominator equal so down say 10 hundred thousand and 10 thousand is there means 10 thousand is a bigger one so i want to make it all the 10 thousand for that see here 3 by 10 is there i am multiplying by thousand so next one is plus 0 0.4 is there 100 is there downside so if i multiply by more 100 then it will become a 10000 here the minus 21 by 1000 is there into 10 into upside also 10 plus 7 by 10,000. Here no need to multiply and uh, divide. What I done here? With what number I am multiplying with the same number I am dividing. So then I uh, will get the same number. I will get the same number. Now and go for the simplification. See here this is uh, 3,000 by 10,000 into 3,000 instead of the decimal means a decimal is there when you are multiplying the, the decimal number so one zero will be decreased because it's a divided by 10 so now it's a four zero by 10,000 minus here 210 by 10,000 plus 7 by 10,000 so now See, I am doing simplification. So, 10,000 ones are, so upside one will come. 3,000 into 1 plus, this also 40 into 1 minus 210 into 1 plus 7 into 1. Total together, I can write as like, see, 10,000. Here, these are 3,000, 40 and 7 means uh, 3047 minus 210 so it's a uh, 7 3 10 8 2 so 2 8 uh, 3 7 if you write this one in a uh, decimal form then 0 0.2837 that's the answer.